this is an update on vitamin D. We already have a YouTube video on vitamin D that you might want to look at, but this is the update because it's important for COVID. So what did we learn in the last video? 95% of Americans and Canadians are short of vitamin D. That's a tragedy. We learned that ranges of levels are crazy. The level in Canada is 75 to 250. The range in the United States is 30 to 100 because they're different values, but they're basically equal to each other. The bottom end of the range is in the worst 2.6% of the population. And so you want to be in the upper end of the range to be healthy. Vitamin D is also the only substance I've seen in the blood test where you go above the range and it says toxicity. In 42 years, I've never seen toxicity. Recently, a study was done where they gave patients 50,000 international units of vitamin D a day for three months and nobody got toxic. When I say I'm on a thousand international units of vitamin D, people say, oh, you can't be on that much. Why not? A thousand international units of vitamin D equals 1 40th of a milligram. It's nothing. And the only way you can prescribe vitamin D is to do blood levels and see where they are and keep raising the dose until you're optimal. The other thing patients often don't know is that vitamin D is a fat soluble vitamin. If you don't take it with fat, you don't get any absorption. So we recommend taking it with a tablespoon of olive oil, coconut oil, or MCT oil. But vitamin D is critical. As we've discussed in the past, it reduces 17 cancers. One study showed an 84% reduction in breast cancer. Another, another study showed a big decrease in pancreatic cancer, which is a disease with a very high mortality rate. We need to avoid these things. What else do we know? The first thing we do when trying to reverse Alzheimer's disease is give the patient high doses of vitamin D because it's a huge brain anti-inflammatory and will help the brain heal. But now we get to COVID. Why is vitamin D important? Well, there are two studies out. One from Wuhan, China, showing that the mortality rate in people with low vitamin D was much higher than the people with good vitamin D. There's another study of Italy. So south and north of Italy, basically two different zones. One gets a lot more sun than the other. They found that the people with low vitamin D, once again, more of them got sick and more of them succumbed to the illness. So vitamin D is critical for not getting or fighting COVID. The other thing about the supplements, particularly vitamin D, is you want to stay on it forever because as we age, there's more inflammation. Vitamin D is a huge anti-aging drug. It's a huge anti-inflammatory. It's an antidepressant that works as well as many antidepressants. So it's safe and important to be on. If you have coagulation problems, you certainly have to look and see if the vitamin D is safe there. Certainly with doses of vitamin D over 10,000 international units, we suggest taking it with some vitamin K as well. Good study, higher mortality rates, more people getting COVID with low vitamin D, now been proven, that's so important. So take your vitamin D.